My name is Denmori Sandarajan and I'm here with Equality Labs. Equality Labs is an organization that works on internet freedom, art and design with South Asian culture and religious minorities both in India and the United States. For us, the question of internet freedom is really a question of evading um, state violence. So there's no way to have a conversation of mass surveillance and name it as one of simply of technology because all of the cutting edge um, state interventions and terms and really overreaches into our right to privacy are done because they are threatened by um, our mass movements um, clamoring to really end impunity um, in India and impunity with relationship to caste apartheid. So for us, the use of circumvention technologies is really about being able um, to, to mobilize, to organize, and do so in a safe environment that protects ourselves and protects our family and our community. The way that Equality Labs got introduced to GPG encryption came from uh, one of the first digital attacks that we received as an organization. We were about to launch a transnational tour and an hour before our colleagues um, from India were about to land, Hindu fundamentalists hacked our network hacked our emails and hacked our phones and devices. Most people when they learn GPG encryption, it's not in a very casual, like festival sort of a way. You're usually learning it because it's under attack. And we were definitely feeling that level of threat. And so, um, you know, while there was a little bit of a learning curve with GPG encryption, as soon as we got it, it helped us restore a sense of safety and a sense of control, which is what you need when you're being doxxed or when you're being attacked, as some way to gain your agency back. And so the ability to have such a powerful tool at our fingertips and to know that we could then connect back up to the world really helped us continue forward with our tour and I think really speaks to the power of GPG encryption and why we need to support it as an internet freedom community because it is one of the pillars of how we can engage in secure comms. And I think for us, a big reason why people inc incorporated it so quickly was because the stakes were so high. And I think this is a thing about GPG encryption. This is not just like, you know, an, an update to your OS. Really, when you start to use this, it's because you've been awoken to the severity of the interference into our rights to privacy. And, you know, for the Indian context, privacy is a hard thing to explain because we come from a village-based country. 70% of India is agrarian. You know, you have a shared communal household. So how you describe privacy is very difficult, but a lot of the ways that we center it is that the right to privacy, the right to free expression and the right to assemble are all three fundamental pillars of democracy. And in that vein, it's very important to really assert secure comms um, as part of that right to privacy. So that's how GPG encryption for us was um, really heavily adopted by our members because of that, that need to, to hold strong in, that, in, the, in the face of these attacks. So we use GPG encryption both internally in terms of our administrative communications, but also externally with other collaborators and partners. And, uh, and in many ways, because we um, are one of the, the, the few groups that work with um, South Asian religious and cultural minorities, we are also ambassadors of GPG encryption to many of the communities that want to collaborate with us. So it's been really interesting to see um, the spreading of GPG encryption through our literacy workshops. And because people want to communicate with us, we make them communicate to us with GPG encryption. When we, start, we first started using GPG, it was so cool to see all of these Dalit women start to use GPG. And, you know, we had women who were in very rural areas using GPG. We had, um, you know, people who were like representing at the UN using GPG. Um, and then we had Dalit artists and musicians using, using GPG. And to see that level of encryption across so many different varieties of people um, in our community and to feel them feel safer, that to me was incredibly validating because you can't, it's priceless to talk about what it means for a community to gain confidence again under attack. And that's not a technological thing. That's about the power of community that's at the heart of GPG encryption.